Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Fadila Sujati. My student number 2210205022. Method of education S versus West. A teacher from a Western country recently visited an elementary school in an ancient country in one class. She watched the young children as they learn to draw a cat. The teacher drew a big circle on the blackboard and 60 children copied it on their papers. The teacher drew a smaller circle on top of the first and then put two triangles on top of it. The children drew the children drew in the same way. The lesson continued until there were 61 identical cats in the classroom. Each student cat looked exactly like the one on the board. The visiting teacher watched the lesson and was surprised. The teaching methods were very much different from the way of teaching in her own country. A children's art lesson in her own country produced a room full of unique picture, each one completely different from the from the others. Why? What causes this difference in education? Edu- educational methods in a classroom in any country. The instructor teaches more than art or history or language. He, he, or, he or she also teaches culture. Uh, each educational system is a mirror that reflects the culture of the society. In a society such as the United States or Canada, which has many national, religious, and cultural differences, people highly fail individualism. The differences between people, teacher plays a lot of importance on the qualities that make each student special. The educational system in this country so these values, students do not memorize information, instead they work individually and find answer themselves. There is often discussion in the classroom at an early age. Students learn to form their own ideas and opinion, opinions. In most Asian societies, by contrast, the people have the same language, history, and culture. Perhaps for this reason, the educational system in much of the Orient reflects society belief in group goals and purpose rather than than individualism. Children in China, Japan, and Korea often work together and help each other on assignment. In the classroom, the teaching methods are often very formal. The teacher lecture and the student listen. There is not much discussion. Instead, the students recite rules or information that they have memorized. There are advantage and disadvantage to both of this system of education, for example. One advantage to the system in Japan is that students learn there were more more uh, math and science than American students learn by the the end of high school. They also study more hours each day and more days each year than North Americans do. The system is difficult, but it prepares students for a society that uh, values discipline and self control. There is, however, a disadvantage. Memorization is an important learning method in Japan school, yet many students say that after an exam, they forget much of uh, the information that they have memorized. The advantage to the educational system in North America, on, on the other hand, is that students learn to think for themselves. The system prepares the drum for a society that values creative India ideas. There is, however, a disadvantage. When students graduate from high school, they haven't memorized as many basic rules and facts as students in other countries have. Thank you. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.